I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. My name is Sarah Dunn, and I'm from DP News. Um, I was wondering, Hispanic culture is a really important uh, theme throughout your work. Um, how do you hope that your work will influence mainstream perception of that culture? Oh, gosh. I, I think, really, it starts with just, I'm just trying to make what's missing. You know, I didn't see any really... Latin animated characters when I was a kid, or not that many, certainly. And so, you know, I, I was so happy to get to work on Encanto and get to work on Vivo and just sort of create what I didn't see growing up. My first musical in the Heights was, I really wanted to be in musicals. I didn't see a lot of parts for Puerto Rican dudes. And so I just started writing as fast as I could. And so, you know, I don't know what that will ultimately mean in the long run, but I know I just try to create what I think doesn't exist, but should. Um, how do you begin your creative process and um, do you have any advice for young people who are looking to get involved in the same thing? Sure. Um, I just, um, one, I think, first of all, I work in fields where you can't work alone. I work in theater and I work in film and I love working with other people. I, if I'm the composer on a project, I love bringing in a song and getting everyone's opinions going back and continuing to rewrite. If I'm the director, I love sort of like getting everyone's opinions and letting the best idea in the room win. And so I guess my advice is like, find people who also want to make stuff and like share similar taste to you because then you make stuff that's better than anything you could have made alone. Um, were you surprised by the success of We Don't Talk About Bruno? And um, I guess what was your response to that? I. I wasn't surprised by the success of it inside the movie. I knew that song worked really well for what we wanted it to do in the movie. I guess I was surprised that it's like a number one hit because normally songs with like a lot of different parts and overlapping vocal lines, like those are like the album cuts that no one ever really kind of appreciates beyond it. But you know, thank you TikTok and thank you to all of the folks who kind of grabbed certain sections and made their own art out of that. Like. My phone is like 60% people sending me their kids singing Encanto songs and 40% sending me like other videos of things inspired by it. And, and that's the best because you just kind of, you realize that your work is inspiring other work and that's awesome. Can you do a shout out for DP News? Yes. Hello DP News. It's Lin-Manuel Miranda. It's good to see you. Awesome. Thank you. And also my dad is turning 50 this week. Can you wish him a happy birthday? His name is John Dett. John Dett? Dent, D-E-N-T. Dent. Happy 50th birthday, John Dent. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have an incredible night. Congratulations. I got that on